one of the big, there are two big differences that I see between what goes on in the in the U.S. and what goes on in um, over here in the U.K. Number one is. We like to say Americans are in love with their blankety blank paper, paper checks. I'm going to take a, 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 a one of uh, Brad's notes and, and not curse. But we have we have way more paper checks than you do. And, and you know I could go on for I used to say I can talk for an hour about why I hate paper checks. But at the end of the day, more than half the payments that are made in the B2B space in the U.S. are paper check, and that's not the case here. Right. Um, so that's that's number one. And that's a huge. It creates all sorts of other issues. That's number one. The other area uh, that I see is different is we have much more regulatory issues that are handled in the accounts payable space um, than you have handled in the accounts payable uh, space over here. Um, I could tell you why I don't think they should be, hand be handled in the, a in the AP in the U.S., but it doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> when, but that's the difference. Yeah, and that's the big difference. So the key takeaway, I want to talk about two things. Number one with was fraud and fraud prevention. Verification is now critical with any of the requests that you get, number one. And number two, and I hate to say this, but be suspicious. If something looks a little odd, don't just say, ah, it, you know, it's probably okay. It's probably not. Better to ask and be told, yes, go ahead and do it, than to make the mistake and, you know, a million pounds goes, goes out the door. So that's with on the fraud. Be suspicious verify and look for new frauds because they're coming I wish I could tell you what they were because I'd make a lot of money but I can't I, I don't know um, but expect that there will be new frauds I'm really pleased to see on the leadership front that um, accounts payable is kind of coming up um, it when I first started writing about this as, as Jamie said in uh, you know almost 25 years ago People kind of look down their nose at the accounts payable function, and you, you occasionally still run into it, but you don't run into it that often. People there recognize that the accounts payable function and the professionals who work in accounts payable have a lot to add, a lot to bring to the table. And I expect, or I hope, as we go forward with all the new technology that's coming forward, that will be the case moving forward. What I look to is the people that, uh, the, basically the accounts payable professionals that I know. Um, I, I know quite a few of them and I you know, meet more all the time and I'm always um, inspired by some of the things that they do and the hard work that they put in. And sometimes I just want to say, speak up because they're doing all these wonderful things for their company and they don't speak up and get the recognition that they deserve or that they demand. So I think we've got a lot of leaders in hiding, if you will. Um, and hopefully more of them will come out. I was pleased to see the panel that you had here um, with people like Stuart Griffiths and um, Patsy. Patsy on it, I happen to know th uh, those two best. Um, and they're two great examples of um, AP leaders. And I hope that you can get more people like them on, on the panel because I know they're out there.